main changes have you seen in the cybersecurity industry over the past year? I think there's a really growing realisation about the whole Internet of Things um, and what it, what it actually means. Um, you know, we used to talk about uh, ICS, industrial control systems, and SCADA being vulnerable, but now it's multiplied, multiplied many fold. It's cars, it's, it's radios, it's kettles, it's big machinery, it, it's everything. So I think IoT has become a big, big feature. The, the second one is risk and the understanding of risk. Information security professionals have talked about information risk for ages, the business has talked about credit risk, finance risk, uh, has talked about um, employment risk and strategic risk and so on. But finally we're starting to see all those concepts come together so that the business understands information and, and information risk and we are starting to understand how information and information risk affects enterprise level risks like the ones I mentioned before. And I think the third one I'd probably say is old vulnerabilities. The, you know, the, the old things are still coming back to hurt us, not patching properly, uh, the inability to upgrade systems. Uh, so we, we, we are still discovering, or the, our opponents are still rediscovering vulnerabilities we thought we'd fixed. What main challenge does the cybersecurity industry face moving forward? Um, again, I think there are a couple. Um, I will definitely say that one of the biggest challenges is actually trying to get our heads around the changes that are happening in the mobile, the IoT space. Um, changes that are happening as cloud becomes much more deployed and much more used. And the final one is the pipeline. We face a challenge about bringing people in. Uh, if you look at surveys, especially, and I'll be very parochial here, the IC squared survey, you know, we reckon there's going to be a million and a half shortfall of individuals by 2020. So, you know, that's based on what we'd like to hire. So our, our members and our non-members that we talk to they have a demand for a million and a half cyber jobs, yet they can't fill them because there aren't the people coming through and joining the profession. The numbers are about 100, 200,000, I think, in the UK. That's a significant chunk of the workforce, and it's also a significant chunk of well-paid, um, highly skilled jobs that we're missing. You've just come off stage at the conference. Can you summarise what your talk was about? Yes, it's actually about filling the pipeline, which is why the, the previous question was such a great uh, way of coming in, into it. Um, Within the UK, we know we have a shortfall. We, we can't fill the positions we, we, we want already. Um, and we've seen prices and, and salaries driven up as a result. What we need to do is we need to start thinking about how can we create a pool of individuals who are both aware of cybersecurity and who actually have the basics taught to them so they can move into our profession. We've worked with uh, the Council of Professors and Heads of Computing, the UK government and various arms of it, as well as other professional bodies as IC squared, ISARCA, double ISP, CREST. And we've come up with a way um, of integrating cybersecurity into every single computer science degree that's taught in the UK. That's roughly 80,000 students in 108 universities. What do you think is the biggest thing that's putting people off coming into this industry? Why do we face this shortfall? Because people don't know about us. Um, if you think about cybersecurity and you think about it on films and, and TVs, it's, it's kids in hoodies typing on keyboards. We all know that cybersecurity is much richer than that. It, it's about working with businesses, it's about risk, it's about understanding technologies. And actually sitting in a computer and actually trying to hack things or write code is quite a, it's a reasonably small proportion of what we do. So people don't know that we have a great set of careers, we have a a great profession because they we don't tell them about it so one of the things we need to do is we go out there and bang the drum and say you know if you're interested in IT or you're interested in computers there's careers there's professions that you've never heard of that your parents have never even knew existed your mates have never heard of that if you get if you have the right skills you can make a fantastic career and have a fantastic time doing it as well and finally what do you enjoy about this event I think the great thing with any of the cybersecurity events, and especially with the, the um, ISP and Crest uh, links, is the fact that it's a great opportunity to catch up with your, your colleagues, your peers, um, and also it's also a, a great way to, to listen to the, uh, you know, the new generation come through, you know, the, the pen testers, the, um, the, the individuals who are starting on their professional journey, listen to their stories and understand how we can help them uh, become what we are today.